Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am gonna be testing some new products. Now, if you have been following Marlena on Twitter, you will know that Makeup Geek has finally entered Target. Um, Makeup Geek is actually a brand I've been wanting to try for quite some time, but I, I don't really like to pay for shipping, so I didn't. So with Makeup Geek being at Target, I can actually go in and see the colors for myself. Um, and I don't have to pay for shipping, so that's always a huge plus. Now, I did pick up one of the quads. This is the one that I picked up. This one is called Summer Surprise. Um, so this is what the shades look like here. Uh, this one retails for $21.99. I picked up a cream satin lipstick. This was $11.99, and then I also saw that she had two different types of eyelashes, and so I thought I would go ahead and pick up her eyelashes as well, um, and these ran for $7.99. These are her Charmer, Charmer Full False Lashes. Definitely something I've never tried before. They're very dramatic, so we're gonna get into testing all these out. Um, first thing I want to do is show you the back. This eyeshadow palette is cruelty free and it does show on the back like a little diagram. So if you really didn't know what to do with the shadows, this tells you where you can put them and what look you can create. I will give you swatches of all four. Now in touching them, they feel, well, only one really feels dry. The other three feel fine. So those are the shades right there. And there are your swatches. I don't know if you can see that first shade very well. Um, it does kind of match my skin tone a, a little bit, so. Okay, so there's a couple ways I can see this going. I can use these as the crease shades and this as a lid shade, or I could use these as a crease shade, crease shade and this as a lid shade. Um, maybe even uh, I can do a halo eye with this shimmer shade being in the middle of that shade. So I don't, I don't know which way I'm gonna go yet. Uh, I'm gonna actually start off with the Urban Decay Primer Potion. I need to use this bad boy up. Okay, so I'm gonna take this shade right here, and I'm just gonna actually put this all over my lid so I can set that primer as well. There is some kick up. Oh, can you see? There is some kick up in the pan. And, ooh, very, very powdery. take this sherbet color and I'm going to put this in my crease. So that blended actually really nicely. Um, there's no patchiness at all in the color. Oh my gosh, the color looks great. So really digging this color. What I wanted to do from the moment I saw this eyeshadow palette, um, I wanna put this color all over my lid.
right guys, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here. I'm gonna finish the other eye and my face. Now I am gonna go ahead and add the lashes because I'm still very much of a novice when it comes to lashes. So I'm also gonna do that and I'll see you guys in just a minute. Okay. <sighs> Let me just go ahead and say, I hate these lashes. Like, you know, I know I'm new to the lash game, but I hate these lashes. And it's not necessarily because of how they look. They're very, very pretty, very flirty. I really enjoy that. But when I took them off of the little plastic that was inside, there is literally glue everywhere. If you, if I, look, 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 look. There is glue all the way down the lashes. It's not that my lash is on, my lash is on, but they are literally, there's glue all the way down the lashes. That is ridiculous. And on top of that, okay, I used, where's it at? I actually used a black glue. So there is no reason that this should be showing up. That, that looks horrendous. It looks like, you guys, I even tried to take um, my black eyeliner and kind of cover it a little bit, c cover the glue, but that didn't even help. Like, they're, it's terrible. You can see it on this side, too. It's not as bad as this side, but there is literally nothing but glue. It's almost like it doesn't even have a band for the lash, almost like the lashes are attached to glue, and that's it. That's what it was like. I don't know if that's how they're supposed to be, but that's what it's like, and I will never buy these again oh my god it was terrible um but let's go ahead and finish this eye look really fast so i'm gonna go back in with this shade right here i'm gonna put that on the lower lash line Now I'm going to go back in with this dark shade and put this on the lower lash line as well. for the lipstick um this is the one i picked up this is in the shade quick step so it looks like a really pretty color i do like the fill of the tube i like the fact that it's very very lightweight easy to store i can throw it in my purse not worrying about it adding any more weight to my purse so that's always a plus A cream stain um, it dries down really really quickly which I mean it's not bad it's very matte hmm. pretty much transfer proof so that's good uh, really quickly let's just go back over everything let's start with the lashes you guys know I said it earlier I do not like these lashes I think yes they are pretty they're fluttery I love this part but I think they need to do something with the glue there was just glue everywhere and that is not okay yes I'm new to the lash game um, I've actually been using 
the uh, So Natural Lashes by Kiss. I really, really enjoy these lashes. You can get six pairs of these lashes for the same price as I paid for these. So, I, yeah. Um, and I also just picked up these Ardell lashes. I've heard some great things about these. So, um, I can actually see the band on there. I can see that, I know that these have a band on here. They're very, very small. I don't know if you can see with the glare. Uh, but I enjoy these. Like, I'm glad I don't have to go anywhere today because I'm so embarrassed with how much glue is all the way down. And like I said, I used a black lash glue, so there is no reason that that much glue should be coming through. As far as the lip stain goes, I really, really like the packaging on this. I think the color is really pretty. Um, as I am keeping it on, I, it is a little bit more comfortable than I thought it was gonna be, so that is a plus. Um, would I run out and purchase this again? Mm, probably not, but just because I'm more of a liquid lip, lip gloss kind of person, lip stains aren't really my thing. It's definitely nice trying it out. So let's get to the eyeshadow palette. Um, so the colors are really, really pretty. I really enjoy the way that this look turned out. Um, I think they blended really nicely. However, I still think it is kind of pricey, $21 for four eyeshadows. Now, I was looking through my collection and these are not an exact dupe, but they're pretty close. Um, you can get pretty much the same exact look that I have on right now with the Dream Street ColourPop palette. Now this palette, I believe, runs for either $16 or $18. I'll have the price right here because um, <laughs> I can't remember off the top of my head. And the, I mean, it's gonna be similar. It's not gonna be an exact dupe. Um, these two lighter shades right here, ColourPop is a little bit more orange. This shade is a little bit more red. This shade is a little bit more pinkish. But the darker shades, ColourPop is definitely more creamy. So these are the darker shades right here. These are the one, this is the one that I have on my lid. So that's Makeup Geek. And that's color pop. Nope. So see, they are pretty similar. Yes, I do see a minor difference. You guys can basically get the same look from the Dream Street palette as you can the Makeup Geek palette. So if I had to make a suggestion, I would definitely say go with the ColourPop palette. You have more options. You can create more looks. It's cheaper. You can still get the look that I did today out of this palette. It's going to be similar, not the exact same, but I mean, who doesn't love more for their money? So um, would I run purchase a, another quad? Probably not. I think it's a little overpriced for what it is. Um, they would have to come out with something absolutely magical for me to run out and buy uh, from their eyeshadow collection again. Like I said, I've been curious about Makeup Geek. I have never tried them before. Um, they're okay. <laughs> I'm definitely spoiled by Anastasia Beverly Hills, um, ColourPop, and a couple of other um, makeup companies that I enjoy way more. So, um, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, so that is it for this first impressions. I hope you did like this video. If you did, please give it a big old thumbs up for me, and I'll see you next time. Bye.